we go. Hello everyone again, and uh, welcome back to our Chasing Psychological Safety series, where we talk to you about the work we're doing in creating our Psychological Safety Works product. Um, and today we wanted to talk to you about this new COVID aid offer we've put out, which includes um, a pack we've designed in particular for this called the Stay Connected Pack. We had an article yesterday talking about this a little bit um, more from a um, theoretical standpoint. And we mentioned in there how we came about the idea of, of creating this pack. In essence, and in, in short, I'll try and be as succinct as possible. What has happened is we are building this one solution, which is meant to over time give you a very clear picture of how your team is doing from the point of view of psychological safety, right? And in that, we measure various components, as we said multiple times before, but for the sake of those that never heard it before, we are measuring resilience, we are measuring flexibility, we are measuring learning, and we are, of course, measuring courage and openness and eventually morale. Those are the six components. Now, all of those things are obviously incredibly important at a time like this, but what we realized as soon as the crisis hit is that we are now in a work situation that is unique, is incredibly um, difficult, and it's bringing new challenges in for teams. So while all of our components remain in, in obviously, the, the, the basis of how those teams are still going to work, what didn't stay the same is the way that they arrived at these components. So we wanted to make sure that we address this um, particular moment in time where teams might be coming towards remote for the first time or things rearrange around them or the pressure of the external uh, pandemic has has come upon various environments. So because of all of those factors, we wanted to come up with something that is immediate, urgent, and helpful from the point of view of a first-time remote team. And in that, um, we spend time figuring out, do we have to measure something? What is it that we have to measure? And do we have to check their uh, digital or remote readiness? Do we have to check what their home situation is like? Do we have to look at um, how fearful they are in this crisis and what's the fear factor there? Do we have to figure out if they're optimistic, what their morale is like, and what their current level of resilience are like? All of these being almost, um, if you wish, temporary indicators of the situation in the crisis, whereas all of them would have been able to be picked out in the bigger components eventually. Um, but then somewhere along the lines, while creating the pack, we realized that measuring is not as important um, as simply bringing these topics to the teams. So we've decided to kind of, um, we do have a way to quantify these things, but it isn't as important as it is to have just formulated them, is it, Fiona? No, absolutely not. And what we've really looked at when um, we started to design the Stay Connected pack was, um, you know, we could see that there was something that teams needed. You know, we, we've had this software for some time that, that measures and drives psychological safety in teams, but now we're in this unique and new situation, right? So um, we wanted to create specifically as part of that software, a set of questions that could enable you as leaders to ask the questions of your teams that need to be asked right now to find out how safe they're feeling, psychologically safe they're feeling, and to find out how they're feeling about being newly remote teams. And, in some, and also newly remote teams in a highly stressful environment. Some of those teams will be embracing that, will have been working remotely for a long time, will be absolutely fine. Some of those teams will be at the other end of the spectrum um, and feeling very unsafe potentially there'll be some impression management going on um, so what we wanted to do uh, was really um, just create the opportunity to ask those questions in the most agile way that we could and for us that was putting it into the software and creating that opportunity so just to give you some examples of the questions that we have asked in that pack and obviously there are way more that i can cover now but just to pull out a few um, important the questions like, um, let's go for the, one of the controversial ones. First of all, I hate using video in our meetings. Or we feel more autonomous as a team working from home. I spend time doing meditation when I work from home. These are the sorts of questions that you can start to be, you could start right now just asking your people about what is the difference? What is different for you now? How do you feel now about about this remote working environment. So 
um, we're making the most of our time in isolation as a family. How are you doing as a family? How are things going? These are the sorts of things that you can start to ask and find out about your team. And importantly, some of those emotional intelligence related questions as well. So things like, I can sense when my teammates are pleased. Um, when I work from home, I'm feeling stressed. Having the opportunity to ask your team these sorts of questions couldn't be more important at the moment. And I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight into the sorts of questions or statements that we presented to people using the software to allow them to say yes, no, this is how I'm feeling, um, and to give you those all important insights. As we've said already, you know, what would be fantastic is if you're already asking these questions and if you already know where your team is up to. Um, but if you don't, we really want to give you the opportunity to do that. And that's just some examples of how, how we've taken that approach. Precisely. And there are many more of these examples, um, both in the article we wrote yesterday and um, and I think you can find them on the website as well. Or just come talk to us. We're, we're more than happy. We might not, you know, kind of, we, we won't have the time to share every question we've ever written. There are hundreds in the software, but, but we can give you some pointers and we have done so multiple times when we do um, the, the emotional intelligence training with some of the team leaders we've worked with. Because at this point, what, what we feel is most important um, is is to comprehend that you have got to establish a people practice at the same time that you establish a remote working environment. You can't separate the two, you can't put it off. It's not one of those things that's going to sort itself after other things. While we recognize that there's, an, uh, there's a physical safety imperative, obviously if there are things you need to do for your team to be safe physically, do that first. Um, there's a technology, mm, background imperative make sure everyone does have a laptop and a way to work together um, but once you're done with that infrastructure consider your people practice just as big of a part of the infrastructure because the real danger here is that if you don't if you don't start paying attention to the emotional intelligence of the team leader if you don't attempt to establish uh, psychological safety long term if you don't make people feel heard and understood and 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 communicate that we're all on the same page and all facing the same challenges what you will see undoubtedly over the next few months, even should the world return to exactly the point where it was at before, God willing or, or fantasy willing, even if that happened, what you will see without the is um, a drop in productivity and who can afford that in the coming recession. So we really want people to understand putting their people practice in the very middle of constructing this is absolutely crucial I would say in, in uh, what we're building here yeah understanding how people are feeling at the moment is not just a kind of nice way for you to be with your people it's a key lever for productivity if you know that somebody is feeling insecure doesn't like the rhythm of working that's been set up as, as a result of remote working um, is not is, is feeling under stress because they don't know that you know they're getting things done. If you don't know the answers to these questions, you have a potential, the serious risk of productivity dropping off. If you ask these questions and you're open and you and you take the opportunity, um, your team could really fly in this environment. So that's that's the choice. Right. Well, thank you for listening to us again. We'll talk to you next week. And meanwhile, uh, stay sane, stay safe, and uh, stay psychologically safe and therefore productive. Fantastic. Take care. Thanks, everybody.